Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. All right, now what's going on here? Uh, there's uh, this should be just uh, an ordinary, nice square wave signal like that, but it's all messed up. Uh, and changing the trigger level control here doesn't help. I'm varying the trigger level from left to right and you can see that there's a whole bunch of craziness riding on top of that normal square wave signal. The switch I'm flicking right now is the function generator's chassis isolation switch. I have the signal coming from the sync output of the function generator but I do not have its ground hooked up. Okay, And this function generator here has a chassis isolation switch so that I can switch it to isolated mode so that the signal ground does not have anything in common with the signal ground of the oscilloscope. That is the function generator's ground is floating and so is the oscilloscope's signal ground floating. Okay. So what is causing all of this nonsense? Well, if you have a bad ground connection on your signal ground, most probably that noise is coming from the 60 hertz uh, line being superimposed or putting an envelope on top of your actual signal. So um, right now, this square wave is being, it's at about, uh, 2.5 or 2.6 kilohertz. Okay, so to determine if you have, in fact, the 60 hertz noise on there, you go over to the trigger source and you select line. Okay, now what does that do to the display? Well, as you can see, it made that noise go away and there's a little bit of a curve now to that trace, right? And the trace is crawling a little bit. So let's change the time base now. If we have 10 divisions across and we want to display three cycles of a 60 hertz signal, that means that we use well, one, one cycle at 60 hertz is 16.7 milliseconds long. Three cycles would be 50 milliseconds. And if I want to put 50 milliseconds worth of signal on the screen, I use a 5 millisecond per division time base setting. And sure enough, if the camera will focus, there you have the 60 hertz sine wave envelope coming from the mains superimposed over the actual square wave signal here and that's how you tell if you have a 60 hertz problem thanks for watching